you know, random acts, we're very similar in that, you know, we have a lot of different ways that we can help. We've, we're, we're not very limited in our scope in terms of what we can, what we can do to help people out. Right. Um, so with that in mind, talk to me about, um, I'm going to switch the topics a little bit about, uh, to talk about um, kind acts and kind acts that you've witnessed, particularly in, in your role there. Um, can you think of one, is there any that, co- there's probably a million that come to the top of your mind, but is there one in particular that, that made a real impact on you? Well, uh, there, there is one that, that I always think about um, because it sort of highlights a few different things that hit hit my heart. And that is, um, and this was early on, I've been here in this role for nine years now with Lydia Place. And early on in the first uh, couple of years, we had this facility that I'm sitting in today is attached to our transitional housing facility for mothers with children experiencing homelessness. And we had a, um, a mom with two young boys, I think they were like eight and 10, and they were living in an SUV. And she pulled up one day she had looked us up and and come to the door with her kiddos in the car um and she was they had been living in the car for quite some time and she was talking with the case manager who was doing her intake assessment and um she was just in tears thinking about her son who was about to turn eight um and he had said like mom you know are we going to have a are we going to have a home before my birthday? And she was so like the anguish of this parent not being able to provide the the most fundamental basic necessity of safe, a safe home for her child to celebrate a birthday. Right. And, and, um, and so like the pain that she was carrying, not being able to give that to her kid. And, um, and so we, and we were happened to have a spot in the, the home at that, and we're able to move them in that day, which like almost never happens. It was just this like beautiful start to the story. And his birthday was like two weeks away. And this other little nonprofit that was started by a local teacher to do really random little acts of kindness for kids, uh, they throw birthday parties and uh, for children who need it. And they just, our, our um, team reached out to them and said like, look, we just, we just moved this family in. This kiddo's having a birthday. They've been living in their car for months. Okay, is there anything you can do? And this lovely group of, it makes me cry every time. This lovely group of community members like just through this, came and threw him this huge birthday party. These are all strangers he's never met, but cake and balloons and presents and um, costumes and clowns and all sorts wow. of like, just delightful little normal childhood moments that was like this beautiful outpouring of community love on a child that, you know, they have no connection to and he has no connection to them, but it was just humans helping humans and stepping up in a time when a kiddo needed some love and the whole family got to feel seen and heard and treasured through this little interaction 